My message to African women is that you are some of the strongest women I have ever met in my life. And I've learned so much from my beautiful little daughter, Ethiop my Ethiopian daughter, Zahara, who has taught me uh, she has a grace and a poise that is, that is born uh, from generations uh, of who she is and what is in her blood. Um, I, I admire African women. I think your voices must be heard stronger. I know who you are in your families, in your communities. Um, I think you uh, deserve uh, respect, and I think where I, uh, where I get most upset is when I hear about um, um, lack of opportunity or oppression or even, of course, you know, I work with some sexual violence and conflict, um, forced marriages, all of these things, um, which we must all stand together. I stand with you as African mothers uh, to, to fight against this. These are things happening around the world, but it is, it is also happening very much in Africa. And, and uh, you, are, you are extraordinary women, and I know that if given the tools and given the support, uh, you, will, you will help your own countries, and so we're here to, to back you. This girl could have died like millions of other African children, but fate gave her a chance. 17 years ago, this Ethiopian baby was adopted by Hollywood superstar Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie got this girl from an African orphanage to California, mentioned, but don't think that. Since then, everything has been perfect. Thank you so much for clicking. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications every, every time I upload a new video. Ethiopia is one of the poorest countries in the world today. There are more than 4 million orphans. Many of them live on the street and don't have access to proper food, water, and education. Among these abandoned children 17 years ago was the six-month-old girl Zahara. She lived in an orphanage and was a mash from hunger if no one helped her most likely she would die and if if she survived and then a difficult fate awaited her at best she would have to correct sugarcane but one incident changed her life completely Hollywood superstar Angelina Jolie decided to adopt this baby in 2005. That time, the actress was dating Blood Pitt and she didn't yet have biological children, but she already had an adopted three year old son, Badox. Originally from Cambodia, the actress was actively involved in a charitable mission and traveled to poor countries of the world to help children. Seeing a six-month-old girl, she was immediately fascinated by her. Everyone thought that this girl, who was an orphan, it was reported that her mother died a few days after giving birth. According to some sources, the woman died from breeding. According to other, so other sources, the girl's father was unknown. Zahara had only a grandmother, Almas Bolivia, who lived with her three daughters in the sun-baked town of Alasa. The family spent their whole life in an old one-room shack with no telephone or electricity, leaky roof, crumbling walls, and banner in front of the house for cooking. There were no more amenities. Grandmother raised the holer for the first four months of her life. But, uh, but then she realized that she couldn't feed her because she only had $9 a month. She gave the girl to an orphanage so that at least she was fed there. When the grandmother found out that the girl who, who would be adopted by a Hollywood superstar actress, she was glad and didn't try to return the child. The 45-year-old woman could neither read or write, but all that she asked was to send her a photograph of her prosperous granddaughter one day. All I ask is that one day Mrs. Angelina would send me a picture of my granddaughter so that I can remember her and those beautiful big eyes. They are just like my daughter's eyes, she said. How terrible that is in some African countries, people are forced to give 
their own children to other hands just because they cannot support them. Life is cruel, but this little girl was lucky. If she had stayed in her own home, she, uh, she most likely would never have learned or read, read and she would not know how to write. She would live in a shack and work for one dollar a day, but her fate was incredible. Immediately after being adopted Angelina, uh, by Angelina Jolie, along with Blood Pitt, they returned to the United States. Since then, Zahara has been living in real luxury. However, her real happiness in her life was not money, but family. The, the girl had new parents, Blood Pitt became her official adoptive father, and she received the double son name Jolie Peter. Her new mother and father really loved her. However, the girl's life was not as perfect as it is, might seem. From the first days, she was surrounded by the attention of the press. The paparazzi were everywhere waiting for Jolly with her adopted daughter. But the worst, uh, the worst thing is that the reporters fabricated the story that the family is allegedly trying to return the girl back to Ethiopia. They took advantage of the family's poverty and brutally manipulated them. Soon reporters revealed another fact from the life of the Hush family. It turned out that her biological mother was alive. Mentor where David gave an interview to reporters where she said that she became pregnant against her will. One day, a man attacked her and she couldn't resist. She didn't even know who the father of her child was. However, she decided to keep everything a secret because in Africa, this is a taboo. The woman to whom this happened is considered disgraced. Everyone will blame her and no one will punish the criminal mentor. Abby gave a bath to a girl in the family home and then realized that she could not feed her and gave her up to the grandmother. Um, I have never disputed the adoption of my baby by Angelina Jolie. I think my daughter is a very fortunate human being to be adopted by a world famous lady. I wish them both all the success they deserve, she said in, 20, in 2007. Zahara grew up in a large and happy family soon. Uh, Julie adopted another child and gave birth to three biological runs. Zahara has five brothers and sisters, but in 2017, when the girl was 12 years old, her biological mother appeared again and suddenly asked to be allowed to see her child. Please, just let me talk to my daughter, she told Daily Mail Online. However, as we know, Zahara doesn't communicate with her biological mother because the real mother is the one who raised and not the one who gave birth. Nevertheless, she visited her homeland in Ethiopia several times. A special visit took place in 2019 when Zahara met with Ethiopia's first female president. They discussed the culture and the history of the country. Gili is sure that adopted children should know their roots. However, she didn't lose a hurry to see her biological mother because she thought it would be bad for her. Zahara is 17 years today. Among all the children of the actress, she is the most unremarkable. The girl has never been at the center of scandals. She is perhaps the calmest person in the family, but at the same time, her mother can be proud of her. Zahara created her own collection of jewelry voiced Meng Meng in the movie Kung Fu Panda 3 and also helped her mother in social work. She is currently studying at a prestigious Spelman College in Atlanta and Jerry is very happy for her. My daughter is from Ethiopia, one of my children, and I have learned so much from her. She is my family, but she is an extraordinary African woman, and her connection to her country, her continent, is very, it's her own, she said. Of course, some people continue to criticize Jolie for adopting a girl who is not an orphan, but in fact was taken from the family. But just look at how incredible the life of this African girl has developed. 
Thank you so much for watching.